Alright, hopefully no more bad things. Yeah, we ain't stepping on I'm gonna try not to move. Alright. I think we're good. Did you just get on? Huh? Do you mind if I get off this match with Will? Alright. Oh, okay. We're gonna chat you up after. Are we back up? We are, uh, things are happening? Okay. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently we have some uh, faulty power cord placement. Uh, apparently there's one right behind oh. our chairs. Well, that's that one shouldn't be up. No, uh, it, it was going out. It went out twice, so I'm going to try not to move. Oh, we can't see Chris. That's so oh, sad. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm just sneaking in. I'm trying, oh, okay. not to, I'm trying not to trip cords myself. Yeah, hopefully we don't... Uh, so All anyway, right. uh, we have... Yeah, go ahead. We have uh, Guilty... No, no. Truth God versus uh, German Luger coming up. Oh, they so should be tilted down. That, that's how I always think of Truth God, though, like peeking over the fence, like uh, home improvement. Yeah, he's always so low with his with his, gr <laughs> his grimace. So, anyway, Truth has been playing... Oh, is, is he playing Adon? No, okay. Truth has been playing Cody tonight. Yeah. And uh, he's been doing good things. He beat Alan. And then Alan just in, got in eliminated the, in, by OG Zage. What? AKS just got eliminated by Zage. And that was an off-stream match? Yes. Oh, wow. It was an off-stream match. It's the kind of night where you're going to see so many good has matches. has been eliminated by OG Zage, and it was uh, it was quite 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 the uh, the photo finish, I, I have to say. So we're, uh, I don't know, we're, we're at kind of a weird place in the brackets tonight because, like, you beat Rex, Zage beat Alan, like, Truth beat Alan. So there's a lot of upsets tonight. Um, yeah, it's it's been a night for upsets. Holy, holy cow! We got we're just putting a bar over his face. Just putting now. a bar right over his face. But uh, yeah, no like one has upset Luger bar this over evening. My though. Face so apparently, apparently, we're still doing some adjustments. We apologize for the downtime and problems. The stream crashed, and now everything is discombobulated for no reason or something. Uh, Baz is getting it set back up though. All right, we're good. We're in there. Everyone I think we're can good. see us, right? Yeah. I hope hope you all stick around. Good job, Bazzy Wazzy. Is so it, did it go down during my match? No. Oh, it's in the archives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, it it didn't go down during any matches. It was it was all downtime. So okay, well, sorry, sorry. Maybe uh, left off between retweet matches. everybody so we know it's back up and I'll yeah, be like we're back, kids, and I'll, so I'll get you. So anyway, um, so truth going back to Ryu. Uh, we've so seen gotta, him use. I gotta face one of these guys. You're still in winners, right? Mm -hmm. Damn, look at you go, Chris. I'm already one stage ahead of these guys. I'm in winners final. That's amazing. Oh, you are? Yeah. Baller, dude. Yeah, I'm falling behind, man. But that's enough about me. I'm already in losers, or I'm already out, rather. So it doesn't matter. So uh, the, this is um, the eternal rivals right here. Yes. These are yeah. These are eternal rivals. These guys are always going back and forth. They have Ooh. kind of somewhat similar play styles, but but Truth is definitely a little bit more uh, guttural, whereas Luger is more calculative. I, I like that. That's a great way to describe it. Yeah, but but I mean they are fairly similar in, in a lot of ways beyond that you know main difference. If I was going to even bring it to wrestling, you got. Uh, uh, German Luger is Bret Hart, and <laughs> perhaps Truth got his own heart. Oh, oh my. Yeah. So, uh, at any rate, uh, I think Truth God has been going Dan fairly frequently against Vega, but I don't know how well it's been working out, so I guess he's going going with the Ryu. I'd like to see him go Cody, actually, but maybe he doesn't like the Cody-Vega matchup. I'm not sure. Or maybe he's saving it for a counter pick. I'm not, I don't know. Okay. Well, this is only a two out of three here. That's true. So nice DP there. You got to come correct. I think we're a little low on game sound, by the way. Does that seem that, well, that, that might be in or might be us? It's just me. Yeah, maybe. Let us know out there if the sound's any different, guys. Yeah. It, well. It started. It started. Okay. So anyway, uh, Truth God takes round one, and um, just kind of going to be a slow, traditional Street Fighter match here. A lot of uh, footsies, a lot of poking, um, and Vega. I was talking to um, Luger earlier. I played him on uh, some casuals. And Luger was saying, you know, he he's just now starting to really learn how to play Vega without so heavily relying on like his setups mm -hmm. because of the delayed wake up and such, you know. So he's been he's been going for this new frame trap that uh, I don't know if he's done on stream yet, but he was doing it to me during casuals. It's like a red focus frame trap. He hits you with like some normal and then cancels the red focus. Oh yeah, he's been doing that for a couple weeks now. Oh, he was saying it was fairly new, but okay, maybe he has a new normal he does before it. I don't know, or maybe it's maybe he just lied to me. Maybe you know, <laughs> you know what? I I might be, I might be lying. I think I saw another Vega. Utilizing that tactic. Um, yeah, he he said when we played earlier that he had just started doing it recently. 
Okay. Well, so the uh, I mean I, I don't know it could be it could be old I'm not really sure but it, it was very effective I mean it's three bars but like Vega only wants to use his meter for damage for the most part anyway you right. know, so. Okay, we got a car throw into the corner there for positioning from German Luger. Just DPs him out of the way. There's a lot of ham going on right now. These, this is the most ham sandwich I've really seen these guys. They're just kind of... Yeah, they're, they're really slugging it out. Yeah, not a very common theme, but, you know, I guess we've gotten past one round, and uh, Luger's tired of playing footsies, and he just wants to go in. Luger's got... Yeah, his Vega pressure is really, really good. I mean, look at this. Oh, it's man. just overhead to grab, overhead to grab, to heel kick to grab, like... You never know. And he walks back and you think, oh, he's far away. It's time to throw a fireball or hit a button. Nope. And these guys always going back and forth like this. Yeah, th this is probably the most uh, consistent set of, of two players that have like a rivalry in St. Louis, you know? Yeah, this rivalry is definitely... They're always uh, in winners together, losers finals, winners finals, losers finals, grand finals. Like, they're always around. There have been a couple uh, very civil but nonetheless pop-offs on the uh, local Facebook group. Wow, stuns. Yeah. Catches him out of the air with a jump hard punch. This is going to be death. Simple combo finishes it out. Wow. <laughs> Mr. PPV right here. <laughs> Pay-per-view action. Oh, it's, I'm just kidding. It's all free. I switch. They switched. Yeah, so Truth with a really commanding victory there. Um, I think, wow, Luger was so strong in the round before that, and Truth just kind of didn't care, and he was like, well, here's a perfect. And now, uh, right, what does he get here off this Truth playing a little more reckless. <laughs> His throw game is always on point. He has one of the best throw games ever. It's wow, nice, nice confirm. Pushes him to the corner. And unfortunately, eats the reversal from Vega. Oh, Ooh, catches him. All right. Now that's another thing Luger was telling me earlier. You see there how he didn't do a follow up after that that float kick and he just dashed twice. Yeah. He said he's been doing that on purpose because he'd rather have the corner push than the damage in the setup. Oh. Okay. That's how he feels about the ultra meta right now. He says when he gets that float kick, he just dashes to push to the corner. Ooh, oh, this is gonna be sucks. death. Good punish. And uh, Luger, Luger takes it. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting when Luger told me that because I totally get the um, why you'd want to have the corner pressure, especially as Vega. Yeah. But I'm surprised that he's willing to sacrifice a hit. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, what's up? All right. Okay, we're Sorry, in. guys. Sorry about that. We're moving cameras. So anyway, I think uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I agree with that or not, but it's been working really well for Luger so far, and I definitely like the the idea. I'd like to see if he keeps doing it or not. Well, nice no. there. You're seeing these, oh, no, no these new tech strategies from Luger. Luger always innovating his offense. You know, he's, yeah, he's just, he's the most impressive player in, in our scene, in my opinion. Even when he's not winning, because he's just so, wow. But right now, right now that story is, is Truf God. <laughs> yeah, Truf God. Truf God this, is this the story of this, of this match. He is doing really good things. Uh, back close, but I mean, I don't know what Vegas got here. All he can really do is try and build meter. Nice claw. Yeah, oh, I mean, okay. there's, perfect. that's pretty, pretty much... Uh, it's Jeremy! <laughs> Thanks, Jim Jeremy. <laughs> I do what I can, boys. Try and look pretty for all you guys in internet streamland. Rolling Crystal Flash. I love the jump roundhouse usage. Yeah, he's he, he's always very good on those neutral jump and well, That's one of those moves that like you're like, okay, all these Vega players, are, this neutral jump roundhouse is a really good move. Then you pick up Vega and you try and use that move a lot, and you're like, yeah, this move's kind of hard to use. Yeah. Like, Vega players are just really good, and they, and they know how to use it correctly. Just at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Luger trying to get in. He just really wants this corner pressure, and he's kind of losing a lot of health. I don't know if I agree with it, but there, never mind. There you go. There's that dash after it. Pushes to the corner. Um, does, does not go for a follow-up for any kind of setup after Ooh, that. Nice. Gets the claw back. Oh, catches him. Big time damage. And he doesn't go for the dash here. He goes for the setup oh, low. because okay. he's already in the corner. Okay. And what? How, how, how else could it be but this? Yeah. We the just last talked about we talked about how evenly matched these men. Last are. round, last game. Oh, he, okay, respect to the wake. He went a little ham on that uppercut at the beginning of the round. Yeah, well, sometimes you know, sometimes you just got to uppercut to put it in people's mind. You know, like, it, even I if am, you miss I three in a threat. row, I am dangerous. Yeah, like I'm crazy. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna great. do. Big punish. Yeah, I like that. That was very beefy. Gives him almost uh, almost a double life advantage. Oh, I love that close stay medium kick from uh, Ryu. Gets caught though by the EX wall uh, wall flip thing there. Oh, and they're very back and forth. Lots of scrambling. Yeah, this is this is really tight actually right now. Oh, great confirms there by Luger. Yeah, really good jump in, really good confirmation. Just picking his opponent. Up. Oh, he oh. baits the DP. This isn't gonna kill, but it's not a good situation. Truth does have meter though. He has meter to work with. He's dangerous. He got okay. Oh, wait. Oh, he no, baited no. an ultra. 
Oh, it gets good damage off the EX Fireball, too. I think that was about the best he could have gotten, right. really, you yeah, know? what else are you going to do? Nothing, unless, you uh, super, unless super, yeah, he couldn't have done a whole lot else. Truth is saying, hey, I'm still in this. Oh, oh the no, jump, though. That this might is be bad. It. No, no, This no. is bad. It's not it, but it's not a good situation. Oh, Wait, did no, he backdash? No, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. Okay, that's it. No, okay, that's it. Sweep. Okay, yeah. Luger it. takes it. 2-1 uh, over Truth God and moves on to winner's finals. Is this you going in? You All going to winner's finals right now? Going to win. I'm, in, I'm playing. Phones me, baby. Good luck, man. I'm playing uh, Luger, right? Yeah. All right. Good luck, sir. Got Mike Webb off stream. Got Mike Webb off stream. All right, Steve. Mr. Page. Rexar OG Sage off stream. Rexar OG Sage off stream. Steve Shannon. Oh, he's very deaf. Depressing. I don't know why he's so deaf. Are you getting back in? All right. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't see there. Um. Yeah, Chris is up now. So we got Chris going up against uh, German Luger into the winners finals. And uh, Voracious Ways, uh, Chris, the Bison player, he's um, you know, he's the, the proprietor of the bar. He makes all of this uh, possible for us. And he also happens to have a pretty good Bison that has been uh, doing a lot better in Ultra. So, did you enter tonight? Uh, no, I did not. I'm actually just here watching. Just once hanging I, out? Like Once I get a stick, you know, I actually will be entering the tournament okay. soon. Where's the bar one? This is the original Bar Wars setup. Yeah, that is correct. So this is actually the old Bar Wars setup. So how's everyone doing tonight? Do you guys uh, have any favorites to win? Who do you guys think is going to win? I'm, I'm putting my money on Luger personally <laughs> because, uh, I mean, with Allen out of the way, I don't know who else can uh, can really take Luger in a, in a consistent, you know, back-to-back -back set. So if Luger beats Chris here and he's in winner's finals, it's going to be hard to beat him twice. You know, it, it's not impossible. It's happened before, but it, it, I always give odds to Luger uh, when he's got, when he's got a, a grand finals from the winner's side. Yeah, I have to go with Chris on this one because uh, you know the way I seen him fight in the last match against Balrog, I was like, wow, nothing but counters and blocks. Dude, I mean, Chris has a really, um, really good Bison. I've learned uh, I have like a decent Bison alternate, and I've learned a lot of tech from him over over the years. Three out of five, boys. Here we go. So Chris has a lot of good setups with Bison. He knows a lot of like weird, tricky, sneaky things that you you don't often see um, Bison's do. Well, see, that's what I like about Bison. You know, he's. He's very technical. He comes up with some uh, technicality. He's also in the air a lot, so especially like when he comes up with the kicks. Yeah, uh, he's got. I mean, he's got really good normals. Um, he's not normally considered, you know, like an overly uh, high aggression, you know, high high technical barrier character. But at the higher level, there's some tricky stuff you can do with him. All right. So nice the grab there. Just as the wake up grab, avoids the meaty. If you're, a, me, if you're a me in here, I would probably pick like either Fei Long, DJ, or uh, Ken. You know, that's kind of like their fighting styles, especially DJs. Yeah, DJ's uh, definitely uh, gotten kind of a, a bad bad end of the stick in Ultra, but I think everyone in this game is still viable. And of course, Fei Long's kind of like the Bruce Lee type character. Oh, nice. He's going to go through. This should be safe, yeah. So he goes for the guards. Catch him with the counter and right onto another <laughs> roundhouse. Chris is looking on That's point pretty good. That's pretty good. Hitting him with those voracious waves. Dude, I could have sworn Vig could have got that. He's got what? He could he have got that uh, counter. Oh. Oh, they're just they're just turtling at the beginning of this match. Nice slide there. Yeah, so good block there from Luger and oh he gets him with the trade, but nothing comes out of it. Ooh. Wow. Vega with that agility. Now that was the new the new cross up that Vega has. The jump light kick can cross up now. That's uh, Vega's never had that in any game. Very interesting new tool for him. The only thing I know about Vega is his wall jumps. I mean that's really sp uh, spectacular. He's really fast with that. Yeah, these these characters are both pretty similar archetypes. Um, Vega and Bison definitely, you know, built kind of around the same general idea, but with some obvious differences. All right. All right, Chris just blows all of his meter and doubles reverses out, but he, he baits a wall dive there, catching him with the, woo, the double hell attack. Oh, and hey, hey. A really nice answer there from German Luger. I like that Chris did not crick wise. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. And yeah, that's going to be it. Vega got the blocks. So I, I still like what Chris was going for there. Luger ended up uh, uh, on top, but. Uh, he, he still could have got that either way. But yeah, the, uh, Chris was still looking really good in that round. Oh no, he just goes in and gets punished. So it's never good to give Vega um, just a, a free lead in the beginning, you know. It, it's never fun when he's got the lead. So if he gets an early throw, it, it really sucks. Wait, no, nice he, punish he, he from German that, Luger. We we'll see with Vega, you know, he, I don't like he wants to uh, wait for that first attack, you know, then he comes up with a counter like trade up. Yep. Okay, we got some scissor pressure. He catches him here. We're going to get a good conversion with another the corner push. I see he blocks. drops the combo though. Chris shakes his head. He did not like that drop. But he's still very much in this. It's tie, and I think he baited this out again. I really Second wow. Time to happen. Chris is doing really interesting stuff tonight. 
I like these little setups that, that, mashing. that he's got. And he's looking good now. He just got knocked off his feet, but I mean, okay, okay, now here we go. Luger's coming back. All right, it's like okay, neck, I like it's the like escape. Neck neck right now. Yeah, Luger's just slowly chipping him down, and suddenly he's got a, a pretty sizable lead at this state in the game. Okay, somebody's waiting for something. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is that is a true statement. <laughs> nice throw tech. I've been, I've been playing a lot of fine games. Every time someone wants to back up a little bit, and it was like, all right, come over the first attack, I'm coming over the counter. <laughs> All right, Chris is just trying to think about what can he right, do. He's got, got like, 25, got like 25 seconds. seconds. <laughs> but, I mean, he's, he's got some meter to work with. He could do something surprising here. He's just kind of trying to think about what's my next strategy. You know, it's better to take a timeout and at least try and think about what you can do. Like, I see what um, he's trying to do. I see what he's trying to do. He wants to get down to the very end. I'm, I'm guessing, oh, no, that's punishable. Damn. <laughs> so, All right. game one goes to German Luger in this first to three. Uh, definitely a close set, but Luger edging it out there at the end. Well, no, Bison actually gave it a good fight. Yeah, definitely. Chris was looking, um, you know, I guess I haven't really seen Chris play against uh, German Luger all that often. Um, so I wasn't really sure what this match would look like from Chris's side. But so far, I mean, even though he lost the first game, I think he looked good. At least they made it to round three. Uh, round two now, actually. Oh, you mean the third? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last one. I got you. Yeah. Oh, wow, that backdash. I, I can't believe that avoided the Psycho Crusher there. That was pretty crazy, yeah. come up with it early. I mean, so far Chris has not, I don't think he's hit that with a single good. Psycho Crusher gimmick, but they've all been safe and they've all been baiting Luger and keeping him on his toes, so I, I think it's good that he's that he's using them. Nice. Like he's, wa he's watching every attack coming by him. Yeah, the, oh wow, he's cornered here. This is going to be a really big Woo! punish. Yeah. Combo. All right, Chris gets stuck back in the corner. Good positioning from Luger. Nice punish. Not going to kill, but Jeez. it's going to hurt. Yeah, that's Second not, time. there's that cross up. Goes into the uh, frame trap. Just egging Chris to hit a button, and that button is ultra, and it didn't work. Chris is like, he is so nice, close on here. So, hey, they're putting up a good fight, though, no lie. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I, I think Chris is still, again, he's still in it here. It's just, I don't know, he's, he's got to come up with an answer for some of these, like, knockdown setups. He, he's really losing uh, a lot harder when he gets knocked down than he's uh, making Luger pay. He's almost, it's almost like he's winning the neutral, but he's losing the setup game. I mean, like I said, he's there, he's watch he's watching what's happening. He's trying to come up with the move, but of course Vegas is gonna come up with a counter. All right, I like the pressure here. He's stuck in the corner. This is where Bison shines, but uh, Luger's just fighting his way out. Okay, he whips the the heel kick there, wow. and Chris pushes him right back into the corner for his trouble. Oh wow! Oh, that was that, he wanted the red focus there off the roundhouse. It would have worked, but uh, I think he got an accidental dash. But yeah, this is not a good situation for Chris. Okay, Man, catches him with a meaty Superman and drops. I'm sure comeback, he wanted. Comeback. I'm sure he wanted red focus. Didn't get it. So yeah, now Luger, uh, very much edging, edging forward uh, over Chris in this set so far. Chris definitely needs to slow it down and reassess the uh, the patterns that Luger's giving him because he's just not. He's getting out red right now. Like I said, the one thing that I see in this fight so far is a lot of counters, a lot of blocks, a lot of a lot of agility. You know, they're doing a lot of jumps in here, especially Vega. Yes. Nice sand roundhouse there. Come on, come punches and kicks. All right, I like that. Okay. It's a tick throw there. Luger does not seem to mind being stuck in that corner, man. He's he's fought himself his uh, his way out every time so far pretty easily. That's what I like about fighters. The corner pressure. Get out of a getter. <laughs> All right. So, oh wow, that slide was. So, so meaty, I think Luger was afraid to punish it. Walk in round as block scissors repeat. That is, that is the way of things. Yeah, so Vega does take more damage, but he also deals more damage when he loses the mask. Like I said, he, like I said Vega's quick. Yes, he, he's definitely, uh, he's got some fast long range moves. Wow, this is so, <laughs> so paced right now. They're still, they're still backing up on this again. Well, I mean, you know, you got two, <laughs> two charge characters without projectiles. This is bound to happen. Nice stand round out there from okay. Chris, and uh, he like could almost chip. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. Luger is just I seen a lot of it. totally a lot. indifferent to how, how crazy that situation was. He just walks up. Oh, uh-oh. We got to pause. I think they're probably just going to play it out. All yeah. right. Just going to play it out. Bro, bro it out. So a lot of turtling here from Chris. He's trying to think of a strategy. <laughs> I, I don't really know that he needs a, a new strategy. I, I think what he's been doing is good. He's just been getting slightly edged out. Um, so that that last round, I mean, obviously should have been his. Like I said, just come over to counter. You, know, you got to shake that. You know, you can't let that get to you too much. 
Oh, there's what he wanted before. Ooh, combo. And that's some new stuff for Vega and Ultra, the red focus combo. Oh, this is bad. Nah, it could have been a worse punish for him, but uh, still not in a very good situation is, is, is Bison. He drops his dash forward on the scissors Bam. again. Okay, got that one. Okay, and just like that. Oh, oh that one's going to work. Wait, no, not. Oh, okay. It's, third, 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 it's either third or fourth time that happened. It, well, it, he's it always gone the opposite direction before, but I guess he still didn't catch it. All right. Probably like wait before he does it. Yeah. Like wait before he ends it. Yeah. Neck and neck. Damn. And that's it. So Chris loses a uh, 3-0 to German Luger, but uh, definitely, you know, uh, that's still another good matchup. Still man. put up a good, yeah, still put up a good fight for sure. So we got German Luger moving on into the winner's side of Grand Finals, and uh, Voracious Waves is going to move on to Losers Finals and wait for uh, uh, Truth God Mike Webb. Truth God versus Mike Webb is at the last match before. Uh, yeah, and then all going down. Okay. Oh, so but, but that's not that's not going into Losers Finals. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we have a couple more matches coming up in uh, the loser side of the bracket before we get to uh, grand fi or uh, loser finals. All right, all right. Damn, you don't need no claw. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, so do we know who's coming up next? Mike Webb and uh, True God versus uh, Rex. Rex, John Strand, get pretty cool, get comfy, whatever. Are they fighting right now? Yeah, they are. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're just yeah we're just waiting for the matches here. Oh, I just cut you off. Shit. This, oh, this camera is like really obnoxiously uh, zoomed in. Can we zoom the yeah. camera out? I'm pretty sure you can. Don't you have like uh, camera controls? Logitech like camera control or something? No. I thought you did. Yeah, I thought you did. It's just kind of like zoomed in. There you go. Logitech. Yeah, yeah, hop on in, man. It's right, good well, commentating yeah, hey, with you, dude. Well, I'm about to go. Thanks a lot, Will. It's yeah, been yeah. Good commentating with you. Good stuff, man. Uh, also, nickname Level 92. Check out the. I wish I could do a hand, but check out the shirt. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> but uh, hey, make sure y'all watch Key Clips on YouTube. That's Key Clips. K E E K L I P S. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Y'all already know my Facebook name, Keenan Sergeant. All right. Y'all stay awesome, all right? Peace. Right on. All right, Luger. See you, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just, just zoom the other way, the other way. Down, 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 down. Yeah, just pull out. Just, just grab it and grab it and pull. No? Oh, okay. Well, then just click furiously. Is that as far out as it goes? Shit. Yo, what's up, stream? Yo, yo, yo. Shout That's out annoying. to Ronin, man. All right. Hey, Ronin is the critic, the critic of Street Fighter Four. If he could only just show up at these tournaments and just point out, yo, man, stop doing this. Stop it. <laughs> stop. Stop. He could have helped me out a few times when I fought the truth guy. Stop jumping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, it's always it's always easier, I think, to to view like things people are doing wrong when you're doing it but not in the player seat. Like if you're if you're watching the stream or you're watching a replay, even if it's oh, your Ronan own said replay, he'll be there. I you know? look forward to it. Right hey, on, do you dude. play? Or Is he from St. Louis? Or is he in this area? Yeah, he was a co-worker of mine. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, oh for real? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Sorry to hear that, bro. Wow, that's 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 whack. <laughs> this economy is a pretty cool thing. Um, so anyway, yeah. Oh, you mean guy? Thank you. We need a guy player. Ever since God, Talden Mike left. Webb. God, Mike no, we don't have a guy. That matchup, yeah. that matchup is so stupid. For Vega? Well, it can be. But see, I know how to fight it, though. But I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having the offline practice because online yeah. is terrible. Especially against guy. That is, you know he what I'm talking about. He just pressures you, and you can't, yeah. And you can't react His to nothing. His pressure online is so annoying. Yeah, you're totally right. Oh, Dudley is a second? That's even better. That's what we need. I kind of feel like I know how to fight. Like if I said, you have, I know if, how to fight both if you have a good Dudley though, like is there? What's the incentive to play guy over Dudley? Well, you say pockets be hurting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel y'all. That's uh, yeah. That's definitely true. Yeah, I feel like Dudley's kind of like almost up, just like a little bit, a little bit better than Guy at kind of the same game in this version now. I don't know. Not that Guy Ooh. has. I think Dudley's better. Like hell than, yeah, he's better. Yeah. Than Guy though. I mean, like I feel like oh, Dudley yeah. and Guy are similar. You know, yeah. and oh. it's kind of like if you could play them both. Speaking of that, you I'd know, almost, Guy yeah. apparently that's a bad matchup for Dudley. I watched the Japanese. Guy tournament. is bad for Dudley. I watched the Japanese turn, and you know what? 
before I even go any further, I'm not going to solidify that that just because I saw that. Because a lot of people think like, oh, just because he placed this in this tournament, this character's good all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, more, the game is still, people still figuring out how to play the it's game. It's always more about the player than the character, too. That's something a lot of but people forget. I will say it looked like it can be because Guy has a, it seemed like Guy had an answer for everything. Elbow. Um, he can punish Dudley hard for whiffing the dash. Because you know how Smug likes to dash and throw. Dash in and throw. Or oh, that, yeah. yeah. The thing is, you can punish that for free. Yeah. Well, you like hit him a, out of it and just, like, yeah, confirm. Yeah, just occasionally yeah. do, like, a low forward or something. Or even a crouch. Like, Fate Long can do a crouch and jab. I just like, jab with Oni. Yeah. Like, he dashes and I just jab and yeah, then I jab TC and into a combo Tatsu. Punish yep. accordingly. Yep. But... When you um, but when I, when I saw that, I was like, my God, man! It was like Dudley couldn't do anything. Yeah. Now maybe Smug probably knows how to fight that matchup. Uh, he I know he plays RLBS. Oh, okay. That's a guy player from Next Level Battle Circuit. He's actually pretty good too, and uh, he has he has some experience. But I don't think I've ever watched him two play. I, you know, now I that you're mentioning it, I, I don't think I've seen play. that matchup that often because it's not in America. You barely yeah, see that. There's not a lot. I mean, we have the best Dudley in America, but that's yeah, like the only exactly. Dudley we have. Like, yeah, for the most exactly. part, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, shout out for him getting Rex. third. Give credit when it's due. Team Pi. Got to give it credit. He almost had Snake Eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Hey, man. That youth, man. <laughs> hey, man, he got to push the buttons, Dude, though, man. Some of, the, some of the, I don't even know. Nah, like, man, he, he, he did good, though, man. He I, I still think that could that could have went either way, technically. But he whiffed a little bit too much. Yeah. Because you can't whiff against Snake Eyes. Dude, well, I mean, Geef is like, it, it's so hard to know when to hit and when not to hit buttons. Right. Because if you hit buttons too much, you're screwed. And if you don't hit buttons enough, you're screwed. You know what I mean? Like, And so it's like you have to constantly be changing up your momentum based on what the Geef player thinks you're going to do. You know what I mean? Because, like, Geef can just punish so many of your options so hard. So it's like, I, I just think... I don't know. I really think Geef is good now in yeah. Ultra. I don't know how you feel about that character in Ultra, Ooh, but yeah. Oh, he's elegant. He's so good now. I, I wouldn't say he's overpowered. <laughs> no, I don't think the he's The character's OP, beatable, man. <laughs> yeah, well, he's not even top five. I wouldn't even say at no, all. No, no, I, I think he's top five. I seriously think he is. For real? Is. You see, Who's your top no, five? No, 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 no. I know. I want, I'm just curious because I want to know who you're dropping out for Geef. Okay. Well, actually, who is in the top five right now? Because I don't, I, I, you know me, I don't Everybody says, to okay, so pretty much everyone agrees collectively on Nyun and Evil Ryu, okay? Right. Like, no question. And then most everyone still thinks Kami and Fei Long are there. But not everyone does. Yeah, but you know what they and all have in common? What? They're actually hard to play at a high level. Yeah. Kami now because of the delay. Yeah. Wake up. No, think about it. Think about it. Fei Long is a little bit that harder. Hard. I don't think he's that hard. Like he, he's hard to play because the thing is, if he look at look, his fireball is can be punished by certain characters. Not well, Vega. You know, it's the same frame data as Ryu's fireball, right? Yeah, but I'm talking about the down, the low forward into the. Uh, you talking about true block string? It, unless he's you mean on block? I, yeah, yeah. yeah on Vega block, can. That's what I'm talking about. Vega. Well, okay. that's that's very. Scra that's, okay, yeah. Scratch who else that. can? Who else can besides Vega? Well, scratch that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the thing is, though, he has low health. Evil Ryu yeah. has low health. It's 950 now. Okay. Yeah, but that's low. You can stun. 950? You can stun Evil Ryu quick. Yeah, but. Yeah, but the thing is, though, look, you got to be on point with Evil Ryu. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what was the other one? Yun. You, you, it's, it's harder Yun to play Yun is hard. Him. Yun is it's hard. It's harder to Yun play Yun is hard. Fei Long is hard. Keef is hard to play. I think Kami and Evil Ryu are Even fairly easy, but they're not in certain matchups, because I, I I still say till this day, he can do any damn thing he want against Vega. Yeah. That's not me complaining. Yeah, a little bit. But anyway. So for the, the mystical <laughs> yeah. fifth spot, though, when Geef is in, so I'm Geef, just going to run by. So Geef, Yun, do you, Fei, you, Can we agree Evil for the purposes Ryu. of this conversation, those four? Kami, Evil Ryu, Fei, Yun? Do you think there's anyone else here? No, 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 no. Wait. Geef, no? Fei, Yun, Evil Ryu. Kami. No? No Kami? Kami. Who? No, Dudley. Uh-uh. You Dudley's think Dudley's top five. top five? Hell yeah, he's top five. I once, think, but once again, though, he's hard to use. That's Dudley what they is. all have in common. Most of the most of the top five Dude, characters. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, bro. Come back around more. Most often. of the, most of the characters that are uh, that are strong, that hit hard, that can stun hard. Most of them 
are uh, hard to use. If you think about it, they're, they're hard to use. Well, yeah, most of them I are. I tried playing Dudley myself, man. I was like, you know what? I'm going back to Vega. Dudley is, is hard to play. Yeah, he's not. I mean, I wouldn't label him as, like, one of the most difficult characters in the game or anything. Yeah. But he's definitely not easy to play. I mean, yeah, he's Dudley got, hard to play because, like. I, I think Dudley's harder to play than Ryu or Cam, Evil Ryu or Cammy. I think, think Dudley's harder. It. If you look at the hit confirms that Smug get, and if he messes up, he's screwed. Yeah. You know how when, like, Vega, oh, I fly to the corner if I drop a combo in most matchups. Yeah. But in any matchup, if he drops his combo, you can punish the hell out of Dudley. Yeah. Seriously. And the fact that you can just have an eye for that, that's actually pretty sick. That's true. I think um, just as... Uh, finalized before we move on, I because I, uh, I we should get back to this later because I think it's an interesting topic. But you've got characters like Sea Viper, Ibuki, Adon, and I Sakura still, yeah, still. Adon's a sleeper too. And, and yeah, and and I think okay, cool. They're doing still doing mutton check. So yeah. I guess my point is, I would put a lot of those characters definitively above Geef or Dudley in my top five, just because like I think Ibuki is one of the stupidest characters in this game, and the only reason. You don't see more stupid crap from Mugi is because she's incredibly hard to play. Like if that's a good point. I think she's like like you're saying like Dudley's hard, but Dudley's not. I mean he's hard, but he's not like it's not insane. But like there's basically two characters in this game that are like 99% of the population will never be able to play them: Ibuki and Sea Viper. Like yeah. and you and, and Ibuki. Only a handful of them. Yeah, exactly. Like and like Ibuki has easier stuff than Viper at a basic level. Right. But to play good with her, you got to have like visually. Uh, measured out unblockable shit and like you know there's a lot of stuff that her that that's very manually timed and yeah so but anyway i guess that's what interests me about if people put geef in top five because i feel like he's so good but like i don't know how you can look at some of those other characters well it's just also, you don't see him i also added in too he benefits good off of red focus that dude yeah, yeah. he can he gets damage and plus he gets positioning too off of it yeah. all right now we got the match yeah we got the match okay all right, so we got balrog yeah uh, we got the, we got the cell uh, mate versus yeah. the pimp <laughs> that was perfect. You know I, what I'm saying? I'm going to choose to believe this is just his Sunday best. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? That's one way of putting it. Oh, that was a good punish. So what do you think about... Uh, he, didn't, he didn't punish with uh, with Criminal Upper. You yeah. got to punish those. Well, he said he, uh, Truth said he's been in the lab with Cody a lot. I, I've seen him play a couple matches tonight. Cody looks pretty solid, but I don't know how good he is in like you know all these different matchups. With oh, that's how I did it. You guys got to learn it. Right, yep. Nice reversal. <laughs> he might have not said reversal, but... Nice punish. <laughs> one of those reversals that, that isn't as far as the game is concerned. Ooh, that's it still is. Oh, he went uh, for the he tried, punish. I yeah. guess he tried to punish. Oh, this is big that damage. Was good. He could chip him with Ultra if he wanted, but he just does the rock. That was good. That was a risky rock, though, because he could have maybe Ultra. No, he couldn't. You he don't couldn't. think he could have Ultra? Vega at that position would get hit. With Ultra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, he would block it. Not okay. at that position. Yeah, it's like he meated it. Oh, uh, okay. I see what you mean. Come on, you nice punish. See, see the thing, the way to beat Truth God, you gotta have a solid ground game, and and then you gotta you gotta stay on the ground. That now that's how you punish. That's how you punish a turn punch. Dude, I mean, Cody has a very good throw nice and spring trap from game. Rex. If you He's think about it, with a stick of butter almost. Yeah. So if he uses the super, I would not blame him. No, I would I wouldn't blame either. him for using the super. Yeah, I think Cody is a good fit for Truth. Just because of his throw and frame trap game. And that's what Truth is really good at, you know? Here we go. Here's the throw. Okay. See what he's got. See if he's on the zone. Nice headbutt. No charge for the super. You better stop whiffing. Ooh, catch oh. him with the EX rock. All right. This ain't looking too hot. And Cody can punish the turn punches real easily, just like what you saw. That's what uh, yeah, Jay was the, telling me about he messed, that. He messed up the first time, uh, but he got it the second does time. Does he just zonk him, or does he short it into Tornado Upper? Or he did. He? Uh, I think he did short, but he can do short into Tornado Upper. Just that, like that, that. Right there. Yeah, that's what he could do. Is his crotch light kick three frame? Uh, I believe so. For real? Damn. I believe so. Don't quote me on that. That's so far if it is three frame. Does anybody know is uh, Cody's crouch light kick three or four frame? See, see, you got, you got. It looks poke. like it's like three see, or the, four. The way, the way to not. beat Cody's is like you got to poke at him. Yes. Wow. I think I actually think Cody is pretty privy to being rushed down as well, though, or susceptible rather. Oh yeah, you can. I tried. Be I because tried his to. reversal game is not that good, you know. No, and it's not. I tried playing Cody. It's horrendous. So if you can get in on Cody and pressure him, actually, it's kind of like Abel, right? It's like. 
he's a rushdown wow. character that one of his bigger weaknesses is being rushdown. I'm learning down. something about this matchup. I did not realize that neutral jump uh, fears Pete's headbutt like that. It beat it clean. Yeah, he just goes right under and punishes him. That's pretty Wait, crazy. Wait, he didn't even go under. He punished it. Oh, he just landed. Or oh, hit him out of it? I didn't even. Oh, wow. I didn't even right. realize that. All right, Rex looking real good right now. He can still bring this back. It's not over. You can't count Rex out, man. <laughs> you never can. Rex has some of the best like reads. Uh, he just sometimes you keep he just his composure. He'd be all right. You working with a stick of butter right now? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's he almost got that super again. See, he he doesn't have to do nothing. He all he has to do is just chill. Cody crosses under there with the, the crotch medium kick. See, he he's getting impatient. Chill, this chill. That's a pun. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I don't know if that was a real punish, but oh, thank. oh, he didn't option select. Thanks, coolest loser. Coolest nice. loser saying it is a three frame for sure. So. Oh, catch him with the anti air there. Oh, yeah, Cody had, yeah, my boy, uh, Coolest saying? Loser. He said he does. Nice. Nice, nice combo there links. You know, that's like, I don't know what? what it is about that link, but I've, try, I, I've tried to hit that link, and even when I plink it, I have such a hard time at the Balrog's I hit that link. It's actually not it's that not bad. It's not that bad. Maybe it's just a weird timing for me. Because I hit, like, Guile's one frame and Chun's one frame oh, pretty that's, well. Oh, that's nice. Clean. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad trade. Ooh, good anti air there. Oh, okay. He, 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 picked the, he picked the right anti air accordingly. Oh, oh, he pushed the button. That's what happened. Okay, wow. way to get out of there. Oh, just, to, yeah, gets right out of the you corner. Watch out, whiffing. Don't want to whiff. Push his true friend. Oh, right good whiff punish. Nice. I don't know if that was a punish or not. Wow, wow. wow. I didn't oh, think that was going to work at all. Rex, see, I told you it's not over. Damn. It's not over. It's never over. Okay, what is he going to do? Okay, okay. Oh, my you know goodness. What? I like that. It went to chip I, anyway, right? No, it went to chip. No. But the thing is, the, he he had the momentum going. He didn't want to sit up there. He he if he, he wasn't gonna block because he was probably banking on the Truth guy probably doing a ex bingo or an ex criminal up. Wanted a whiff trade of some kind yeah. or at least mm -hmm. a trade or yeah. at least whiff. At least yeah okay. So that's a smart decision. So I, I don't know though. I like Cody from Truth. I don't know. Let's see if he sticks or not. But I I, I thought the Cody was looking pretty good against Balrog personally. Oh no no. I personally think he should stick with Cody because. I mean, you 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 can punish the turn punches. I mean, you just gotta look out for the turn punches and just punish accordingly. It, it seems like Cody might be kind of okay at this match. I don't know. I mean, I I, don't I think know I, I, Cody, I don't know. Sure, really, but man. I would have to probably uh. Like you said, it seems like he's got some punishes that are a lot harder for other characters. You know, so. Yes. Twenty mother. Oh. Ronan said you can also ex uh, bingo to counter the turn punches because it's easy to react because you're releasing the button. You just release. It's super. Yeah. Jay was Jay Fab was telling me that earlier. He said he, he fought Truth and that was like a big problem for him. Hey, that's what yeah, it's that, called, that it's move, called that crotch medium yep, that's kick. That's it. Yeah, it's called learning. Low man. profile moves him forward. Oh wow, he meated that. I think Cody's pretty slept on overall. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't catch it. Yeah, it was just he's barely lucky. too late. Yeah, Rex is lucky. Yeah. <laughs> okay, trying to play a little bit of footsies here. Keep him in that corner. I like that. Good whip punish there from Rex. Nice, nice. He's positioning himself. Yeah, keep it simple. You know, ain't, ain't gotta be nothing fancy. <laughs> nice. Sometimes it's best to keep it simple, man. Good. He's keeping it simple. See, this is where Rex shines at. Wow. When he controls, Rex looks so when he strong. stays in the area, that's where he's the strongest at. Now he got a stick of butter, super. Yeah, right. Balrog pushing his opponent into the but corner. But Truth God is still in it's this, so though. Scary. See, he's not out of it. He can still come back from this. Truth said, yeah, I mean, he's definitely got it in him. Yeah, see, he needs to watch his feet now because Rex is picking up on the wow. fact. Wow. Rex is picking up on the fact that he's not watching his feet. Nice trade. Rex is using so much stand hard kick and crouch hard kick at, at like all the how, right times. I like times. how he's not using uh using his ru EX uh, yet because he wants, I know what he, he wants. He wants a super. Do. Yeah. See, yeah. Good, good punish. I like that. He wants to get him down a little bit lower and he wants to go for that stand medium kick <laughs> into buffered super. Yeah, this is how. This is Guaranteed, how, this, that's what Rex wants. This is the definition of a real boxer, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Rex is once so he has solid. a stick of but once he has a stick of butter, man. Shoot, you better watch yeah, it. Yeah, now this see, is that's a good trade. He wants that trade. One more Ooh. dash punch see, or that one stand been medium it. kick. That would have been it. Super right there, but he probably wasn't expected it. Stand medium kick. Where I like this. Oh I, no, he I, can I, almost chip. No, 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 no. He, he can can't chip. Oh, and now it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, truth just kind of gives it up. Oh! Wow. I don't know what Rex was doing, but. I don't know what he was doing either. Does Cody get a follow-up after this? Uh, yeah, he can get closer. Looks like he does. Oh, okay. You okay. know what? I agree with that because he didn't want to get caught up with the mix-up. Because yep. if he got hit he with a get bingo, out. yeah, then he could have got hit with a frame trap. Yeah. Yep, that's a good trade. Good stuff to to that's, Rex. Yeah, that's a good trade. So now we got Rex War versus Voracious Ways. So Truth Guy ends up in uh, fourth place. It looks like. Yeah. 
So. Okay, we got the salty run back. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, excuse me. I'm so There's actually quite a few salty run backs, actually. This whole tournament's if I, fight, if I fight Rex, he gets a chance to reset it against me. Yep. Like I reset, because I did it to him like twice, I believe. So. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of like upsets and I don't know. Tonight was kind of a weirdly big tournament too. We had like 22 people or something. Oh, 19. I thought we had over. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I thought we had 20 plus. Okay, but that's still. I mean, for a weekly. Uh, normally we only get like 15 or so. So a couple extra people here this evening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good stuff to OG's age taking AKS out this evening. Good stuff to AKS for coming to a tournament. We never see him. Uh, well, I mean, he comes, but he never enters. Sorry. So it was nice to see him enter. Uh -huh. He's trying to learn some poison, it looks like. But uh, it didn't work out for him tonight. All right. So uh, once again, this is the run back. And Rex is, uh, I'm sure he's not one to lose twice to Chris in one evening. <laughs> Amen. He's not about that. Hey, man, you never know. But it could happen. It could happen. Three out of five people have time to adjust. It's the of the century. All right. So are we going straight in? No, they're doing no. button checks. Chris has some weird buttons. Look at these buttons. He has a focus attack button and a red focus attack button. So he, he does some weird... Uh, he does some weird inputs with those buttons where he like holds, kick, and then hits the focus button or the red focus button to focus or something. It's really, he's told me about it. I don't really understand. He tells me it's really optimal and good for all these different things, and I believe him, but I don't understand <laughs> what, what, what exactly it's about. All right, this is going to be an exciting uh, losers finals. Hey, Zane. All right, here we go. Uh, Rex? Yeah, Rex. Oh, man. Really? I don't know if I'm going to make it to grand finals, you guys. <laughs> I'm so tired tonight. I don't know why. Hey, is I this did have a long match? day at work. Is this the match? Yeah, we're going in. Okay. Rex decides to go. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Okay. No. It, I hope it, a lot of people watch this because Rex's DJ is actually really freaking good. He used to play her back in the Super Days Rex's during Max DJ out. is I know legit. about that. <laughs> I have played Rex's DJ several times. And I hate when people just act like this character's worthless now. I'm no, not he saying, is. No, no he, I disagree. He's bad. He, <laughs> he's probably one he of the... He has a move yeah. that forces Stan that yeah, yeah. whiffs. He's yeah, no, bad. No, no, no. I'm not saying he's not <laughs> bad relative to the rest of the cast, but I, I think saying he's worthless is ridiculous. Because I think every character in this game can win, is my point. So, like, Rex is a really good DJ. I think we could see some good stuff come out of this match against Chris. But we'll see. Maybe he'll get wrecked. I don't know. It's uh, Loser's Finals, right? Yeah, okay, sorry. Did I say Grands? I didn't mean to if I did. Anyway, nice well, air to anti-air. Air. Nice. Good tech. Neutral jump, yep. And that's a really good strength of DJ is that if you yeah, neutral it jump is. his projectile, yeah, he Yeah, fireball hits you. trap. Yep. He has really good traps with his fireballs. Here's another one. What do you do <laughs> when, you're, when you're in chip range? Mm-hmm. I, dude, I don't think he's trolling, man. Uh, Rex, no, 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 come legit. on, man. We, Glenn, hey, Glenn know what's up. Everybody Rex's knows. DJ During is the legit, match, you even, guys. even the cats in KC know he, he brought out yeah, the DJ is, a few this times. This is not a troll. Like, this is one of Rex's characters. It has been for a long time. You nice can't do that. Here. Nah, bro. Yeah, you yeah. cannot jump You can't say jump him, you but you got to know yeah. you got you got to know how to. It's awkward. There's nice. not a lot of other uh, Vega can say like jump that. it, but I don't even bother can anymore be considering the fact that of a uh, delayed wake up. Yeah. Nice. That was a good conversion. He improvised. He's like, "Okay, I whiffed the first uh medium punch." Rex is fighting his way out of the corner, gets out with a cross up, but eats a scissors right away. Nice. Wow, good yeah, reaction that from Rex. That. Knee shot in the air, catches him out of the jump. Nice reaction nice. to that. Wow, that actually beats that. Yeah, that move is, dude, that EX. See, it's good, but then it's good. not good. Well, wow, he, re he reacted to okay. it. Okay, I mean, yeah, it has problems, but it, if you just as, as long as you know that, that's like when people say, like, I don't know, like, uh, Poison's DP is bad. Like, okay, but it's still really good that she has a DP. Like, as long as you're not using it stupidly, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I feel like with DJ, like, it's bad against... Uh, you know, like you said, safe jumps and stuff. But it's really good that, I mean, it's important that he has a similar game plan to Guile. 
but you can't do the, the cross-up shenanigans like you do to Guile on Wake. Like, Guile, you just cross him up all day. Uh -huh. You don't care. But DJ, you can't. You can't do that because his move autocorrects really he well. Actually, uh, he actually, I don't know if he still do, but he had unblockables um, on Kami and Super in uh, AE 2012. DJ? In a, yeah. That's actually a bad matchup for Cammy, from what I was told I by mean, like uh, Nut Forever. DJ and, has uh, setups. DJs. I mean, he probably doesn't anymore because of Ultra, <laughs> because of delayed wake up. But um, he definitely did. You're right. All right, so Rex going uh, going back into this in the same nice. same strategy, really. I can't do that. I don't think he knows this matchup. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's probably not very good for Bison, and, and for the same reason that Guile isn't very good for Bison, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, DJ isn't as obnoxious in the same ways that Guile is, but it, it's close, and DJ has a way better harassment game than Guile does. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, Rex Wow. Is oh, man, you gonna sit there and take a little, uh, take a trick out of the notepad, though, man? Yeah, Rex. Gonna sit there and punish the neutral jump, man, like I punish flip kick? Yeah, Rex. With flip kick? Rex is just looking really strong tonight. Nice scissors. Stop whiffing. Good. Okay, okay. Uh, see, at that point, man, he should have just stayed in the middle of the stage. That move, I mean, it's one of those moves you look at. Every time you get hit by it, you're mad with a crouching hard kick from DJ. You're, you're like, oh, I can't believe I got hit. But but if DJ does it at the right range, I mean, it's kind of tricky. Jump. He can make it uh, relatively yeah, safe um, if, if, if you block it. You know, it's, it's a decent tool. Wow. I like nice. the pressure from Chris. Nice stagger. Okay, he catches him with a cross up somehow. Woo! Nice combos here from Chris. Oh, never mind. Just oh, as man, I he had that. positioning at first. Okay, wake up throw. Don't jump. Now, I wonder. Wow. Can Bison still do the um, crouching, uh, crouching light kick on wake up to make the jackknife kick whiff for DJ? Does Bison. I don't know. You don't know? Is that a no or you don't know? Sorry. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, he should have slid. Uh, oh, gonna be at the wrong no, point. Oh, I thought he was going to go into a super combo there. Wow, that didn't chip? It was close, but now... Wow, wow, Rex. Nice. Okay, Chris is still in it. Nice. Yeah, God like, like a, lot of, a lot of characters can do crouching light kick on DJ's wake and the EX kicks whiff, you know? So I don't know if, if Bison can or not, but that's something that I use against DJ. Nice. You'll eat the EX uh, uh, uppercut, though. That'll, that'll beat it. Wow. Oh, okay. He's Rex with this tiptoe game. He's applying simple pressure. Nice air to air. Yeah, the air to airs are really good. Yeah. I think DJ's air to airs are all good for the most part. I mean, no, they are. Yeah, his jump moves are really solid. That's why I think he's so bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he's so good at air to air, but he sucks on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Rex, though. Looking wow. so solid. And that's 2 0 Rex right 2 -0 now. 2 0 match point. With this DJ. Chris uh, seems really bewildered right now. Yeah, I think, I mean, this has got to be a pretty hard match for Bison, you know? Same same problems he has with Guile. A um, little bit less on the zoning forefront, but really good pressure from DJ. Slides right under and uh, gets the cross under. Now suddenly Chris... Oh, that could have been a counter hit combo. Instead, Chris goes okay. with the counter. See, he better stop going uh, for that. I don't like the level three. I don't like that. There's the, the Just look at this knockdown. <laughs> Rex doesn't seem to care that there's a delayed wake-up. Oh, that was bad. Oh, oh wrong combo. punish. Oh, good tech from Rex. Wow, oh, bad land neutral on that. jump. Yep. Wow, Rex is dropping stuff now. Good punish. Chris is getting punishes on him, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Rex goes for the machine gun upper and uh, pays oh, for it. No, but there's a lot of combo dropping going on right now. On both oh, sides, that yeah. was bad. Both oh. sides. Wow. Nope, can't I don't do think that. Rex. I don't think Rex has been hit by a single... Uh, Head stomp. He's he's jackknife every one of them. Yeah, what's killing them is that he's dropping combos. Yeah, that's a big deal. He's not getting a lot of opportunities for damage, so the fact that he's not capitalizing on it when he does is definitely hurting him. Oh, nice scissors. Okay, catches him out of something. Ooh. Oh wow, good punish from Rex. Chris wakes up with a short though and takes the momentum right back. All right. He needs to just walk forward and block. Main, maintain wow. the posi maintain the position in the middle of the stage, and then put put DJ towards the corner. Nice from Rex. Oh, if he had it done jumping fierce, that would have beat that. Wow. Rex is just nice bringing this punish. back. 
Chris is helpless to stop him. That's going to be it. Yep, that's it. I'm up. Good luck in grand final, sir. Really, really dominating performance there from Rexor. And he's going into grand finals on the loser's side. And I think we're going to have either Voracious Waves or uh, someone else come in here and join me. And until then, I'm just going to talk into both mics for extra stereo. Double, double fists in it for you guys. Double your pleasure. Double your mics. You get in, Chris? He's like, ah, I might as well. I'm the big loser. Hey, good job tonight, though. That, that matchup's got to be not fun, right? It's bad for all the same reasons as Guile, but a little bit more harassment and annoyance. Yeah, I know. I was I was getting a lot of bad things coming out on that stick. I wasn't used to it. I know that's like the excuse. That's the worst mean. excuse, but it, it is one. Yeah, I know what you mean. I never I never say that because it's not usually – it's usually that's all right. my fault. I just try to only like, use I, I can own. fuck it up well enough on my own. Don't get, <laughs> don't get it wrong. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I went for some uh, – I went for, I went for, I keep, there's this one setup and I couldn't remember what it was. There's a way to safe jump that EX uh, up kicks. There is. It's just, well, can't or you, empty jump. It's a way can't to you just do short and it whiffs? Because I can do that with all the, all the Shotos can do that. I don't know if Bison can, but if you just do like a meaty crouching light kick on his wake, it'll just go right over you. You should go to the lab and try that. All right. It works with a lot of characters. I'd be surprised if it didn't work with Bison. So I need to... Change it's just my, change my strats. It's literally just a meaty crotch light kick on Wake, and anytime he X up kicks, it just flies right over your head. But you'll eat like Ultra or, or EX Machine Gun Upper if he does that instead. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I dropped all my FADC. But yeah. All right, so we're going right into this here. We got German Luger, of course, playing Vega, and Rex. So we're going back to Balrog for this. Uh, two classic characters. Classic rivalry. Yeah, very um. Wow. I put these two in his favorites in the beginning when I saw Alan was in there. He was a. Uh, Alan got a. Uh, he got eliminated fairly early for what you know we've come to expect from him he tonight. He lost the troop, and, he, and then he lost to uh, o o OG's age. OG's age. With that uh, viper, I suppose. I mean, Alan's definitely you know uh, he's a favorite to take any tournament most of the time, but uh, he just ran into some stuff I think tonight that he hasn't seen in a while. Maybe I don't know. Good stuff for coming out though. I wish him and Glenn would would play more often. So I like I like seeing him. Both Round one goes to Rexor. Both these guys' uh, meta is so on point that in, in between individual setups, they have little chains of movement that they do to put them right in the right spot for their next setup. Yeah. And, you know, everyone has setups like that, but between these two guys, there's almost no wasted motion in between. They're, they're just going at it. There's no, like, wandering around the screen and thinking about what I'm going to do next. They're all just going in for different setups. Yeah. There's a lot less calculation. I mean, that just comes with the experience, though. Yeah, they, they know what to expect. They don't, they don't have to watch out. They know that nothing's going to happen if they just walk around. Yep. Nice little uh, sequence here from German Luger, and he's pretty much on his way to taking this round. Not a whole lot Rex can do here, and he certainly doesn't want to spend any meter. Yeah. Back and forth. He gets uh, Luger to burn a meter, though, so that's you know kind of a victory. Those sweet, I really sweet like this victories. Vega costume, by the way. Yeah, it's just it's not trying to be crazy. I feel like a lot of the newer costumes are always like we're trying to be crazy. Yeah. This one it's like Vega chill mode. I like it like a lot. One of those like warm up gear or something like. It's it's basically like Vega cosplaying as Sub Zero on a motorcycle <laughs> without a helmet. That's definitely some American. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's the American badass bottoms. <laughs> I guess those were jeans. It's like, it's like a it's like kind of a full body suit it almost. It looks like looking. Undertaker bottoms with the rocks old open oh, open yeah. shirt. All the wrestling references it's, from, it's, from the voracious know. ways. I'm just saying he looks like he needs to be King's tag team partner, King from Tekken. Oh, right, nice, nice there from Luger, but he doesn't get the crumple. Oh, wow. Oh. He just goes for some and shenanigans to get a, a knockdown. And yeah. it, you know what? It worked. He took momentum back right away, and he's pretty much back in this. And then he goes for the nothing. Very smart. Good tech there from Rex. I like I like Rex's little frame trap game with the crouch medium kick with mm -hmm. Balrog. Yeah, just weird he uses side. that move so often. Match pretty much evened up now. A little bit of an advantage. Yeah, Luger's done a really good job of bringing this back. Oh, a nice little framey trap there. Framey traps. Ooh. Little, it's, it's when it's cuter. If it's not that cute, it's just a frame trap. But if it's kind of cute, it's a little framey. Little, if, if, it's a, if it's a little bit cute, it's a framey trap. Oh, it's not that. And if it's really, really cute, it's a framey wamey. Framey wamey. Framey wameys. Oh. It's the cute ones. Oh. Framey wamey. All right. Anyway. <laughs> and then to the next match. <laughs> so uh, Luger, I don't know. I think Luger is looking pretty good tonight. Yeah, he's looking. He's. He, I think he was hungering after last week. He felt really. Well, here, here's here's what I've noticed with Luger. Basically, here's what happens. He he's. 
I've said time and time again, he's definitely one of the best players in St. Louis, and I, he's, if not the. But what he does is he, when he when he loses, like he goes in this thing where he's like, ah, I'm gonna drop this game, and he he doesn't play for like it feels like maybe a week or two. Yeah. And then he suddenly he's just like, I'm back, sup, and he's like really good again. And I don't know what he does in those those two weeks he goes when he re cave he meditate. rekindles his love for the game and relearns how to dominate everyone. I don't but, even know if he but loves he does it. it I think I think he's like he's he's he hates it, but he but it is him. That's pretty much what love is. <laughs> so. No, the headbutt doesn't pay off, and uh, there's a big punish here from from Luger. What do we got for a follow up? Wow, Rex just wakes up and throws. Wow, Luger oh. trying so hard to get out of that corner, and suddenly he's in a bad situation, though. Wow. Yeah, nice. the chip takes it. The Bushido knee <laughs> right to the face. All right, I Luger. So far, not a loss. He, he's not Bushido, though. That's that. That would be uh, incorrect in this universe. <laughs> in the wrestling universe, that makes sense. But we talk, we talking about guy, I believe. All right. Luger so. is so good with the cosmic heel. I, that that move is a lot harder to use than it looks. The way Luger and he went makes for it that, look. He went for that crazy flip neutral. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's flipping all over the place. Well, Vega's very acrobatic. Flippy whippies, perhaps. Flippy. Yeah, flippily whippleys. Flippily whippleys. Flippily whippleys. You took flippy whippies, which was made like, it even more. I could do that to any old word. Flippy whippies sounds kind of like stalkerish. It sounds kind of like t child toucher. You just gotta add some cool syllables. Flippily whippleys. Flippily whippleys. That's baby. really cute. Like you with the flippily whippleys. If you if you hit the baby with the flippy whippy, like you need to go to jail. You need to go to jail. But if you hit him with the flippily whippleys, oh, you're just hanging so, out. So cute. Feeding so him cute. some crackers and. Playing with the choo-choo train. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this match is crucial for Rex. He really wants to win here. Wow, nice throw, though, right yeah. out of the uh, punch. Oh, doesn't get the whiff punish, but gets a throw kick anyway. Oh, nice kick. That's like That might be a cross-up or something. That looked like it could have been a cross-up. That's a pretty crazy little little doodad. It's like he flies through. It normally, yeah, that's... Luger's got some really crazy wall dive setups. Everybody he talks does. about how that move is like totally fraudulent and worthless, but I don't believe them. I, I think they could. It's his DP, sort of. Uh, it's his vortex. Wow, that's going to be de uh, death. And uh, just like that, German Luger up 2-0 on his way one game away from winning this whole tournament, which honestly, these, as much uh, as I like to see good matches, I'm appreciative of because I'm really freaking tired tonight, and I don't. So I, I apologize if I'm nodding off at the at the helm this evening, but. No, I, th I'm just I, th I think the Rams game is going to end Long day at work and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm barely hanging on And I think I got to take Guilty home tonight too So I got an extra long drive No, oh, you. It's okay we're, we're coming up with gold here Flippily whippily <laughs> Flippily yeah framey, fr framey that's, how you, that's how you know I'm a little slap happy Slappily happily wappily dappily uh, When I get tired Oh he slides right underneath Oh nice sweep Rex has got to gather some sort of momentum here. Rex, you know, I've actually seen this before. Rex has a lot of trouble dealing with all this wall dive pressure. I don't have any problems with Rex, but I really hope he gets 3 0 here just so I look like I'm about it. You look like a baller. I'm, yeah. about, I'm about at Rex's level. I beat him once. Uh, <laughs> he, he, may beat, he may have beaten me, but he got 3 0 by the champ tonight. Yep. But I know that Rex is uh, very capable of taking at least one here. You can never sleep on him. This is death, but, though. Oh, there we go. So, Rex. Rex needs to win three games in a row, and he can't lose a single round uh, right now. Because if he does, German Luger wins the tournament. But if anybody's got that clutch, it's if Rex. anybody's got it, it's Rex. He's got the uh, he's got a little bit of a meter nice. to work with, but uh, Luger not afraid to use his. He could care less. He just wants to. I really like that neutral jump that Luger just did. By the yeah, way, yeah, he wants to inflict damage. That's all that he cares about. He's he's going in hard. Okay, started something. Ooh. All right. Man. Music gets hyped for a second for Vegas. Is this Vegas music? I didn't yeah. realize. Vegas I thought this was remix or whatever. I just assumed it was El Fuertes or something. No. <laughs> you got another well, classic. Well, German game. Luger is looking so strong right now. Rex is a full super. B yeah, this is looking real bad for Rex. The Spanish are not the Mexicans. Oh, nice. Just so you know. <laughs> They may speak the same language, but even... They are not the same. Not the same. Wow, Rex suddenly... Oh, man, is he going to bring it back? Oh, does he just do it again? Is he does the stun? same thing. He's no. tearing and him. He's got, he's gonna tearing go. him to reversal. He doesn't. No. Oh! Mm, can he chip him? He didn't get the ultra, but this could still be Rex's game. <gasps> wow. That was such a turnaround. That was like... 
That was unbelievably clutched by Rex. I don't even care that he randomly was rude to me before our set for reasons that I don't know of. <laughs> but he, he was like, don't shake my hand. I was like, okay. Whatever. Oh, he's just trying to get in your head. No, I know. <laughs> he knows you can beat him. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice sweep. That's that's a voracious way style sweep right Oop. there. Oop. Yeah. The long, the long, yeah. <laughs> The long slide into in the sweep, and you know suddenly Rex, he's oh gonna nice. go to super, gonna push to the corner. Big no. time damage. Yeah, it hurts pretty bad, and uh, you do not want to be in the corner against Balrog. Frame traps. Uh oh. Luga though finds his way out into the wall dive, gains momentum back. Does he have a setup? Just catches him with a low out of the back dash. Pushes Rex right back into the corner. Oh. That he was just stuck in though. This is heating up real fast. Oh. Rex catches the anti and he's on the board two one. All right. From the brink of defeat. We are. My goodness. We thought this was over, I guess. Yeah. Wow, wow. Cool. Nice sweep there from Rex. So I think, uh, I don't know, Rex Rex is really good about riding momentum. He may be able to ride something uh, into the, the sunset of reset. You, mi you might see it. It's definitely... Uh, it's looking good now. Nice confirm there from Rex. He's going to do it again. Drops oh. it this time. Yeah, though. that's a t it's tough to get those bread and butters like back to back. I don't yeah. know what it is. It's like. Well, I think I was telling Luger earlier. I think Balrogs is really awkward. It's a, it's a one frame link that's plinkable, but it just feels weird. Yeah. I hit like Giles and Chun's one frame links up their jabs pretty consistently, but for some reason, Balrogs sweep I miss all the time. I don't know why that is. Ooh. Fades out the EX, dash punch, and uh, punishes him shortly thereafter. Let's go Vega. That 3 0 is what I want to see. <laughs> Well, it'll be, it'll be a 3-1 no matter what. Because Rex is on the board now, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get right. You're right. Nice. See, there's that neutral jump setup again that he's using. Some kind of safe jump. It's really nice. My strategy is over. I'm sorry. <laughs> My strategy. Oh, the overhead. And this is chip range. Vega not uh, super good at chip, but he certainly has options. Rolling yep. crystal flash or wall dive. Yep. yep. So once again, we are back to tournament point for German Luger. Some come on Rex shouts in the background. We definitely have uh, big time Rex supporters here. Jordan. <laughs> oh yeah. Oop. Oh. Yeah, you know, I feel like. It, oh man, the footsie's so Rex good. Rex needs for Rex. to find some kind of a better answer for these wall dives. I don't know if Balrog. Oh, he's can finding he super? some answers. I'd say. There we go. Well, the super doesn't That's work. Okay. Fully. That's okay. Seems like there's a lot of uh, wall dives that Luger's getting away with, but right now Rex is looking super commanding, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Tournament point. It's still tournament point. Still tournament point for German Luger. Rex once again very much up against the ropes. Nice dash punch. Ooh, Ooh anti-air wall dive. That was nice. That always looked really cool. All right, he goes for the frame trap there. Doesn't catch anything, but catches him with a frame trap follow-up after the frame trap that didn't work. Look at this pressure. Oh, nice grab. That Re walk forward grab. Did he even need to carry it? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the Rex. That's the Rex. Ooh, nice. Some with the grab. The Hurricane Rana. This isn't over for oh, Rex, but this is a really that, bad situation. That was, that was a counter hit setup, yep. right? Yep. That's oh, it. German up. Luger yeah. with another cross-up wall dive EX. Good stuff, everybody. Thanks for stopping by and watching us. Another successful STL Bar Wars. We are going to wrap up real quick, though, and catch you guys next week, same time, same place, every Monday at 7.30, 8, 8.30, 8-ish, at 8, twitch.tv forward slash STL Bar Wars. Follow us on Twitter, at STL Bar Wars, and on YouTube, also STL Bar Wars. Yes. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye, dudes. We want to give a special, special thanks to our boy, Metal Music Man, the man, the myth, the legend, So Metal. We also want to give a major shout out to all of our sponsors, Medwalk.com, Project Giant Sword, Dogs and Fries, Slaggers, Comeback Mechanic, and of course, Dano's American Pub, where you find us every Monday night, it seems. Uh, back to the old configuration. We're going to chair down the stream. We're going to get our comedians hey, um, up on here. So Guilty's going to take us away. How about the STL Costume Wars, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I wasted all my money on that shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, dude, GGs, are you leaving right now? I'm about to want to Okay, damn. Um, well, I want to play you sometime. Maybe play me online, even if that's all it is.